I'm Reese with Not Your Mom Survival Shop, and we're going to be covering our tactical bug out bag that we're building. This bag is a Condor medium assault pack. Uh, we'll also have attached to it a Condor uh, general purpose pouch. The bag is going to come with two books. We've got a the pocket first aid field guide, 160 pages, lots of information, and the pocket outdoor survival guide. Lots of good information in here as well. Right now I have the bag set up with some extras in it just to show you the bag's capabilities. I like a lot of creature comforts. I'm old, so we got uh, several additions to the bag. Just showing you how I have it set up here on the front. You got a sleeping pad, which is my personal addition. Won't be included. I'll show you the, all the inclusions here in a minute. You just see we got big straps on the side. Uh, cinch down, compression straps, tighten everything up, holds lots of gear. On the opposite side, what I have outside, it comes with a snug pack poncho. I have the poncho on the out, outside exterior of my bag so I can get to it quickly if I need it. We have great items and gear in here. A little personal pop-out trick chair. Now that everything is included in the bag. We've got a large exterior pocket. We've got one of our Not Your Mom Survival Fish Kits. A caster. They have a couple of repair gear. 550 cord. We've got some zip ties. Good wire in there. We've got some Yuko Survival Stormproof matches. 15 matches. They'll burn anywhere at anything. Underwater. High winds. Can't put them out. Got 24 inches of grill tape, safety pins, all for gear repair. Included in here, we have a uh, Coleman multi tool. Great little tool, pliers, everything you need in it. Survival mirror. Have a headlamp, AAA headlamp, AAA flashlight, very bright, very good lights. A Fresnel lens. A little personal salt and pepper shaker for your meals. Have a pack of mole skin for your feet when you're humping around. Two small personal containers for shower gel, clean soap, anything like that for your uh, Kit. The interior pocket, you get a UST 4.0 folder, it's got a great saw, great blade, this is an awesome knife, good addition to the kit. Have a snug pack, a stash of shelter, builds you, build you a hooch, a little permanent camp. First aid 1.0. Terra Solo Cook Kit by Optimus. It'll all be wrapped up new. What I have in here, extra that won't be shipped, I have a can of fuel. Now this is a tactical bug out bag, so won't be building fires or anything like that. This can right here will, will boil up to three cups of water at two cup increments. That's the addition. The stove set, we come with our little orange uh, piezoelectric stove. Burns very hot. Set comes with a little scrubby. And your, your bottom cook set, bottom of the cook set. Saw your mini water filter. I'm leaving these in the package just to show you the the expanded room with this bag, we can fit a lot more stuff in there time you, you unpackage and, and separate and break down all this stuff. The Sawyer Mini uh, filters 100,000 gallons. It is, uh, it comes with a drinking straw, 
Comes with a one liter bladder, survival whistle. It all comes together in one small tube here. Great little item here by Gerber. Set of Camcon heavy duty bungee cords, a four pack. Some additional I have in here. I've got a pair of pants, I've got two t shirts, and three pair of socks vacuum sealed in here as additional clothing for the trip. This comes with a three pack little uh, ditty sack by Coglins. You can, you can categorize, organize your stuff in the bag. Pack it up how you need to. Snug pack poncho liner. These things are great. They'll lay out flat just like a poncho liner or you can wear it like a jacket. I prefer this for the multi-use uh, multi of it. It's an awesome little, little bag right here. We have the Soul Escape Bivy. It's 84 inches by 31. Reflects your body heat bag, it's 100% waterproof, heavy duty, will last you a long time. Keep you dry, keep you warm, keep the wind off of you. Also included is the Stan Sport single point mosquito net, green in color. What's great about this, not only will it keep the bugs off of you, you can attach some, some weights around the edge, you can use it as a cast net. It's a great item right here. Lightweight, very small, compact, you can pack it up. We also have a 40 liter dry sack for you to break out and put your gear in. Roll it up in there, zip it up. Great addition. Keep all your, whatever you need dry, kept dry inside the bag. Swedish Fire Knife by Light My Fire. Great knife. Moore makes these. It's a sweet cut. Nice knife right here. Also, we have a Sog Fast Hawk. Great for trail, anything you, you want to cut. Good little defensive tool. So, nice little item right here. Got a sport with a whistle. Nice little metal. Uh, you got six uh, metal skewers. You don't want to use the skewer pegs or tent stakes. You don't want to use the aluminum. They'll bend up too much. The metal is just a little bit heavier, but it's a much better item. Also included with it, you get a, we have a tourniquet. Combat application tourniquet. This is your trauma kit. We got a packet of bleed stop in here. Two five by nine bandages. Two rolls of uh, the four inch curl X suture, uh, alcohol prep pads, triple antibiotic ointment, and a number four surgical blade. It's got two, uh, directions got three of the two by four inch band aids in it, large bandages, and three of the uh, one inch or three quarter inch by three inch band aids in there as well. So I have a blanket. Pair of gloves, rubber gloves. Also, we got two uh, two small possible containers. Cut with a set of hemostats. A set of straight hemostats in case you have to use your suture. And also for a little personal defense tool against animals, wildlife, things like that. You got a uh, marble spearhead in the back. Now, in addition to some of the things that uh, I have in this bag, just to show you the capabilities of it. I have 15 days worth of chow in here. Uh, we've got coffee, drink mix, energy drinks, all that. It's all vacuum sealed, packed up. On the trail, I got a packet of uh, survival tabs in here. This is just the way I pack and do things versus 15 MREs or 15 other big meals. I've got, uh, got some mac and cheeses done up. Granola bars, got some fruit roll-ups, fruit chews, different things for energy and snacks. Got a large packet of uh, maple brown sugar oatmeal, vacuum sealed in here. There's 24 packets in here. I've got a large uh, eight serving chicken noodle soup packet in here by Bear Creek. All vacuum sealed down. 
Got 10 servings of instant rice in here. I've got 12 packs of chunk light tuna in here to go with my meals, break them down. So all in all, I can sustain, sustain myself for 15 days or longer just on the chow I've got in this bag if need be. Uh, also in the back, back here, we have another pocket in the back of the pack, and I've got 24 sheets of heavy duty aluminum foil in here that uh, if I have to do any, if I want to do any cooking on a trail or anything like that, rabbit squirrels, I can just quarter them out, fold them up in tin foil, put them by the fire if need be. Uh, one other thing in here for, for that is uh, got some Lipton onion soup mix. Use it, put it on your meats, roll them up in tin foil, grill them. They're really, really good. So all, all told, this bag right here for that, with what I had packed out in it, weighed 30 pounds. Everything you saw come out of the bag weighed 30 pounds. Uh, actual pack weight shipped to you be somewhere around 24 pounds. So that's the extent of it right now.